Hey everybody, welcome back. So recently I decided it was time to up my hearing protection game and I ran over to Amazon and I took a look at what they found and I found these Walker's Razor Slim Electronic Muffs on sale marked down for like 43% and there's like, Walker has like 27 different colors and patterns and designs of these and they're all the same other than the color pattern and design so of course I found the least expensive one that didn't look obviously very feminine and um, that was these black with teal accents. Now this is what I had been using and I bought these long ago mainly to use in a shop environment but I liked them so much I used them for other things too like shooting but the problem with these is they're so thick that too often times my shoulder or the butt of the rifle will push them up off my ear. So I decided it was time to up my game and I picked these up and I think I paid, I bought these with my own money, I think I paid $39.99 for them, marked down, that's supposedly marked down from $69.99 and some of the more popular colors are still up there around the $60 mark. But anyway, let's see what they claim about them. High gain directional microphones, full dynamic range HD speakers for clear balanced sound, low noise frequency tuned for natural sound clarity, sound activated compression, 0.02 second reaction time, sound dampening composite housing, recessed volume control knob, audio input jack, ultra compact and collapsible, powered by two AAA batteries. That was another problem with this pair, is this uses a removable rechargeable battery under here, and that was um, Ryobi's old Tech 4 battery, which now are getting kind of hard to find and expensive. And of course, if I forgot to charge them before it was time to use them, if I didn't have a spare charged battery, you weren't using them. Well, I mean, you could still use them. They'd still work for, for as earmuffs to protect your ears from sound, but you wouldn't get the you wouldn't get the ability for it to hear normal sounds with the headphones on. That's the advantage of these battery powered ones. With the battery power and the microphones give you advantage of it can let you hear noises. In fact, actually it works. I hear noises better with these on than I do with them off. And then anything above a certain threshold and that the microphone and the speakers inside cut off and they act like earmuffs. Anyway, I'm sure that was as clear as mud. Let's get them out of the box and have a look at them. I have not taken them out of the box yet, so oh, I'm going to have to cut that. And obviously you can use these for a lot of different things. They're not just for shooting. It would be good for, you know, lawn equipment, shop equipment, all kinds of things where you want the sound deadening, but you also want to be able to hear what's going on you want on around you when the sounds aren't really loud. And it looks like that they um, are in their collapsed position. Let's figure out how to uncollapse them. Is there any kind of instructions? There's nothing else in the box. Oh, there's batteries in the box. That was not, oh, and they actually gave you decent batteries, Duracell batteries. I'm shocked. Um, anyway, let's figure out how to unfold them. Oh, there's the instructions inside. Let's see if the instructions show how to unfold them. You have to unfold them to get the instructions out. Not really, but this is a warranty registration. This is the um, instructions. See if I can unfold it. Oh, my goodness, that is tiny. Power on, volume control, audio input jack, so you could plug your, um, assuming anybody even still uses such a thing, you could plug something like in an iPod into it to get, to get music in. Alright, we don't need any of that. We're just going to have to figure this out on our own. There we go. That wasn't too hard. Wow, they are, they, they're going to squeeze tight. Um, I'm guessing there's no adjustment for that. Where is the adjustment on these? Um, don't know. Excuse me a moment while I try them on my head. Okay, they don't, they're not even close to fitting. 
All right, there must be some kind of adjustment. Go back to the instructions. Battery door, omnidirectional control knob. Proper fit. Press the headset over the head and secure the muff cut over the ear. Adjust the headband to ensure a secure fit. Of course, it doesn't show say how to do that. You just pull. Apparently, you don't just pull. All right. You got to be smarter than the headphone, obviously, and apparently I am not. Oh, there we go. There we go. I see. I'm starting to see. I'm pulling in the wrong spot. Oh, I see. They pull. This pulls out of there. Oh, gee, I wonder how, I wonder how long-term durable that's going to be. All right, let me try it now. Oh, now they fit. All right. So, yeah, you pull it, pull it way down. Then you put it on your head, and when it's on your head, you just push up, push up like this. Well, now it won't let me do it. Let's try again. You pull it down like that, and then you push up like that until it fits properly. Well, they do fit snug, and they are slim. Look how slim they are compared to these. That's not even a, not even a close contest. Let's get the batteries in it. I know it said there was a battery door. Battery door is looking to be right here. Oh, it's nice. Flexible to an extent, anyway. Let's get the um, batteries out. Gee whiz. All right. Feeling unusually clumsy today for some reason. Of course, that's normal clumsy for me and probably unusually clumsy for everybody else in the world. There we go. Volume controls are an on-off switch. Yep. Yep. Okay. Nice. You can roll that with your finger. It's got a nice click to feel off. It doesn't turn so easy that any slight bump would send it from low to high. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm hearing everything through that. Oh, we are out here at the range today. A lot of you probably know where I am today. This is Rio Salado Sportsman's Club. Yes, I should have cleaned my windshield. Gonna do a bit of shooting. Gonna test out these new Walker ear protection I have. Gonna have a little fun and no, I'm not gonna film it because I don't want my channel demonetized. Okay, so I just got back from the range. I wanna give you a quick update on how the Walker noise canceling headphones work for me. Now be aware. If I haven't mentioned it already, I have a size, I wear a size seven and three quarter inch hat. And if you don't, can't tell, I've got large ears. One of the big problems, two of the big problems I've had with these old Craftsman headphones, they work great, they're very durable and I like them, but the holes in the ear cups are not large enough to go completely, you know, to let my complete ears go completely inside. That really doesn't seem to be a problem for the noise canceling. You know, it seems to be more of a problem for just comfort and fitment. Also, they stick out so far that when I go to shoot a rifle, often my shoulder will push the headphones off. With the Walker, I don't have either of those problems quite into, to a severe an amount. They, um, one thing, they like to do is partially fold back up on me when you set them down. There we go. The, the ear cups do seem to fit completely around my ears rather than on top of them. Also, they're slim enough that I don't have that problem with my shoulder pushing them off of my ear. They cancel noise every bit as good as, as the Craftsman do. While I only had pistols out today and none of them were very big, 9mm was the most powerful thing I had today, there was a guy a couple benches down from me with a Mosin Nagant M44. You know, it's 7.62 by 54 Russian, 
which is a pretty loud cartridge to begin with, and in a carbine is even more loud, and he had some kind of god-awful muzzle brake on the end that looked like it belonged on a tank. So the thing was stupid loud, and I had no issues at all wearing these. Also, I like the location and position of the of the on-off volume control. The um, noise canceling good and the noise gathering is very good. I never had an issue hearing anything around me. These are more comfortable than the Craftsman. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with them. And I also like how small they fold down and go into your shooting bag. So, if you need a set of noise canceling headphones, you know, with sound gathering, you know, the electronic kind like these, if you need them for the shooting range, if you need them for the shop or for the yard, these seem to work really, really well and they're quite comfortable. I'll put an affiliate link below and thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.